A new study has come out saying that men who like spicy food have higher testosterone, which actually reminds me, do not go to Dave's Firehouse for suicide wings, because I don't know if you forgot to sauce these things, but you definitely got to double down. Yeah, these are coming in at 10,000 Scoville units tops. And when they talk about spicy, do they mean like Szechuan hot pot? Because I find that stuff pretty bland, even with a bunch of ghost peppers added on there. So I'm actually podcasting right now, but when you're preparing it, could you just put the Trinidad Scorpion in the foul curry, maybe just pepper spray the whole dish for flavor? You know, if we're taking a break, I actually found uh, a place you can buy a family-sized bag of those one chip challenge chips probably a little more favorite than the gung tai ply yes yeah, gung tai ply could definitely be a good palate cleanser after a more moderately spiced food like the five alarm jungle curry i had yesterday yeah, what can i recommend a little carolina reaper smoothie for you it's a little gentle for my palate but you might like well, that. i actually use those as chase on occasion to wash down my papa a la hurricane yeah chicken vindaloo i also recommend is that milk? The milk's unrelated doctor said i'm a little low on calcium although high on tea can you pass me the twenty thousand scoville unit wet wipes the boys, the boys cast, the lads, the boys cast, the dudes, we pair the sun, the boys cast, the bros, the boys cast, the homies, the boys cast, the dudes, the spirits, the boys cast, the boys cast. Fellas, one of the biggest vindications. Oh my god. <laughs> You already know. <laughs> I know what we're talking about. We're all taking fucking heat for this. <laughs> one, of, one of the biggest vindications oh in Boys Cast history. This is, this is an all timer right here. And I, I took a. I, honestly, had an I was like, on this. I was like, this is like a fake article. I was like, I literally was looking this up. It's like, an all timer. Surely someone must be screwing with us. So we've been saying for years that there was an old story that went around. And basically, there was a guy. He got pulled over by his car, uh, on his car, and for drunk driving. And as the cops came up, he had a handle of vodka in his car, chugged it in front of the cops. Yeah, as the cop like knocks on his windows, like you know, ID and insurance, everything. <laughs> he goes, "One moment, please." Yeah, grabs, opens the glove box, grabs a bunch of vodka, chugs it, just chugs the thing. Yes. Yeah, and then goes, "Here you go." And then, yeah, and then the cops, like, you're drunk driving, you're like, well, no, I wasn't driving when I was drunk. And he goes, I, I just get nervous when I'm around cops. So yeah, and takes the edge <laughs> off. I have this vodka waiting for me. And we were pilloried. We, well, we started saying this, and everyone was like, no, you're wrong. To the point where I basically, I think we even went on Luke Tuma's podcast, and we were talking about that. Yeah. And we were like... Well, this was the theory. We thought we were right. Everyone basically said we're wrong. Turns out it's not true. At least in Korea, it's not I've true. I've been telling people. I, I think God's my true. It is head. true, yeah. And then in Korea... And again, it's obviously it's happened in America, but apparently the this, this is a is Canada po- story. This is somewhere. It was from originally Canada, a Canada yeah. story, but now man escapes DUI charges by downing a bottle of soju <laughs> while pulled over. Yeah. This is a week he ago. Did. He might have literally been watching. The boys. He cast. might have been a boys. This cast guy's listener. Might be like a Korean boys cast <laughs> listener who's like, let me see if this works. I'll just keep one in there. He missed the debunk episode where we were getting done. Sure. Out. Yeah. He just got it in his head. Yeah. I mean, it's worth a fucking shot. I guess. What's what's the worst thing that can happen? You're already done. Yeah. You're already done. Yeah. Exactly. You're already like. I mean, to have to be drunk and have that foresight is kind of. Impressive. I well, a lot of times you're not, you know, you might be six beers in on the getting caught on the road or something. Right, right. right. But yeah, exactly. But I mean, the, the key is it has to be closed. Like it can't be like an open container. So it's like it's like a closed container. You have like you have your, to have this the is extra like one. smash glass and emergency. You saw me open it. Yeah, you saw me open it, and then you're just like <laughs> one sec. Like guys knocking on your window. Go just just a moment, please. Yes chug that shit so it does happen i'll tell you what some of these small towns like i'm we've been city people so i do a lot i'm always kind of like there's almost no reason to ever drink and drive Mm -hmm. then you go we're in these city you know every time like i've kind of said this before but every time i'm you know i'm on the road i go to these small everyone's always kind of on the internet in your head being like what you got to do is get off the grid man you get man man you know you get you get your plot of land you're outside of the thing your Your stress levels are done yet your stress levels are low you get your chickens you have everything you need you got your family you got your guns everyone talks about it like and and to some degree you get it you know there's certain times where you're like i mean it is a little stressful less stressful life you don't even need to make that much money to have a decent amount of money no nope. then we're trying to call an uber first of all we're talking 27 minutes of course because there's one uber driver and everybody knows his name and on top of that here's another thing that well i wasn't loving and people may disagree with this but the uber drivers like to talk to you right of course and they're they're chatty as fuck, so it's like a lot of times 
Five Ubers, you know, so I got to get a cab from the airport. Then I, we go from the, the we're, we're at the hotel, going to the club. Every Uber I take, the guy from the moment you get in the cab to the moment you leave, this guy is, blah, 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 they're, oh, yeah. and they're nice. Yes, I get Yeah, very nice. You're nice. I'm not a Salt cost, of the earth. Salt of the earth. I get it. You're a nice woman. You're a nice guy. You're just making conversation. You're being nice. I'm not accustomed to this kind of, no. to, to me, it's like, you know, they're like, okay, so uh, how big's your family? And you're like, the fuck do you Hey, care? are you going to uh, take a <laughs> phone call on speakerphone at some point? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's that's like, is true. Is that going to happen? Are I you guess gonna... I'm damned if I do, damned if I don't. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah, the speaker yeah. comment. Sit there in silence. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> try that in a small town. No, but, thank you. Yeah, you're right. Try taking the Uber. <laughs> try taking the nine hour call. I mean, Uber is, you go to small town Uber, it's just Hindu like some, wife some on old a small lady town. picks you up in an Uber, which is like. Pretty, old ladies have a lot of energy. I know. But they're the ones who pick you up. You know, they're this woman. You don't get old ladies in I'm in work. one. This woman, <laughs> she's driving by. She goes, that's the place I actually got married in. She goes, she's, she's giving me <laughs> a, you a tour of her she's life. Me a tour of the th- yeah, she was. She was like, oh, yeah, I've been to that bar a couple times. And, yo, that's a great place to play pool right there if you get together with the people and play pool. I go, shut up. Is she telling you, like, what the buildings <laughs> used to be? No, she giving you that. She goes, that used to be a bank. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. That, that right there, that used to be my favorite bookstore. <laughs> So yeah, I know that I'm being a, you know a city guy. Yeah. But a part it was it's just like after the fourth time, sometimes you're tired or you're just thinking about other things. You're oh, just yeah. like, I don't need to. do I mean, it's a different life. I did a show. Ever, you're doing a speed date. I did a show on the weekend, and uh, then there was this couple, and they were from Thunder Bay. And uh-huh. They came up to me afterwards, and they're like, because I said something about Canada. They're like, oh, where are you from in Canada? And they go, so the comic after you, he uh, he said his rent is thirty five hundred dollars a month. Is that real? I'm like, oh man, that's fucking on the low end. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, and they're like, that's crazy. Like, they couldn't get past it. They're like, 35 in Thunder Bay, you get for 12. If you have a place that's 1500 bucks a month, you're hearing it from everybody. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, must be nice. Yeah, it must be nice. They're like, $3,500. It's like, we got a huge plot of land and we have a giant house. It's like, we don't pay anywhere near that. I'm like, and the, obviously, I'd be like, yeah, you live in Thunder Bay, Ontario. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, yeah, but they were like they couldn't get over it. Like I try and change the subject, and they're just like, so thirty five hundred, huh? <laughs> and I was like, and we were. This is in Greenwich Village. This is on McDougal Street. And I was like, you think that's crazy? These places where we're at right now, these are like one bedrooms are six thousand dollars a month. Exactly. Like, what? Yeah, they're they're steams coming out of their ears, couldn't right? It, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, that's what you have to make a lot more money when you have less time. When you can make that kind of money to live, you got less time to chat. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's nobody on the hustler grind set out in you know these places. These people are on the opposite of the hustler grind. Yeah, set. there's no Sigma grinders out there. <laughs> <Non-existent>. <laughs> well, that's what. So I've been back on the road, and but I'll say because of the special. Um, which week one we're at like 300k almost and it's only been one week and i'm starting my press tour now i haven't even started i did the first thing yesterday because i went immediately on the road back to work so and i'll tell you i got so much messages from people that were super positive and and, you know i got a lot of people being like you know i've been a big fan i've seen clips or this and that but i was like honestly really happy that the special was really good because i've been like repping you yeah yeah, yeah, (laughs) you know what i mean like there was a lot of people that were just like yo i've been i've been like say i've been telling people yeah, they were like oh, i hope this isn't the joker too <laughs> yeah, yeah well i think a lot of people don't know with people they know from the internet right. they're just like i don't know this guy could i don't really know how good he's a stand-up maybe sure. i like his podcast and he's good at videos or whatever but maybe the special comes out and it sucks and i've been telling people this guy's great so i had a lot of people that felt like i which i completely get that the other way around where of you're course. like in some you're like i've been i fucking told five people this guy's funny his special better be good <laughs> Dude, it's like we ever like into a band and you play someone's song and they're like this is <laughs> yeah your, yeah yeah, this yeah. Is your favorite band yeah <laughs> You go, yeah, you're uh, just what? you feel like a fucking idiot, yeah, right? Yeah, you're like, what? No, no, they're sick, and they go, what? You start your beads of sweat start rolling down your face as you realize they're not feeling yeah, it. Yeah, they're not feeling <laughs> it. And you're like, uh, I guess we could put some '90s hip hop on. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah. Everybody likes 90 hip hop. In your head, you're like, fuck, fuck, fuck. You're, you're skipping around <laughs> yeah, yeah, trying yeah. to find the yeah, part. I, I, there's a better song. Well, hold on, let me try something else. <laughs> this is a B side. You're not going to like this. Yeah. So, anyways, back on the road. And Danny's got a couple big uh, shows yeah, coming up. This uh, Sunday in Tampa, if you're out there in Tampa, uh, Side Splitters and uh, Albany and uh, Hartford in December, go to dannycomedy.com. And all new material for those people. Some people have been saying, you know, I didn't want to come to the show bec- uh, or I didn't want to watch the special before I came to the show. All all new material, yeah. completely Saratoga Springs, Philadelphia, Nashville, Chicago, Las Vegas, Minneapolis, Edmonton, Phoenix, Portland, Tacoma, L.A., Irvine.
Irvine, San Jose, Tampa, Salt Lake City, Denver, Atlanta, San Diego. Get tickets at RyanLongComedy.com because some of these places uh, I won't be adding a second show just because the way it works out. So actually get tickets now. Um, so moving on from that. And there's, okay, you know what? There was one tiny other thing on that. There is, I know there's a lot of stuff to get to this week, but a small thing that I read recently is apparently bad posture is not only bad for you, it makes you stupider. Really? So what happens is... Because what, because you breathe through your mouth or something? No. So basically, if you're like slouchy, yeah, which you don't get enough blood to your brain and it starts to make your brain like foggy and basically the neurons or whatever don't like uh, fire quick enough. Interesting. And you, so... There was a whole bunch of studies about this, but it was like, it's honestly, I was like, I I'm reading this thing. I'm fuck. Yeah, you're just like, <laughs> dude. I'm like, I'm. So, I, I kind of have like, I guess I have like what I would describe as uh, trying to be cool guy posture, sure. like a bit of more of a lean back slouch. But I think when you lean back slouch, you're also getting a forward. Yeah, you kind of right? like compress your. I'm I'm reading this thing, being like, as I'm like slouched over, I'm like writing comedy, like a fucking you know, yeah, yeah. slouched over well, like a hedgehog desks all the time and you exa yeah, yeah I, I don't like writing at a desk. You got the you got the standing thing, don't you? Got the little treadmill action? Yeah, I don't use it yeah, that often. <laughs> I know. That's probably 99% of people buy that shit, and you're like, I'm not walking the whole time. Come on. So, I'm also tall, too. It's not really big enough for me. Yeah. But then also, so the oh, other- Oh, because it's too far. I don't know. No, it's like, you, you, there's not enough, like, my, oh, leg, my legs oh, are long. Oh, your gate? Your yeah, gate is too long. my gate's a little too long for this thing. I'm always, like, hitting the ends and stuff. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Then you just fucking fly off the thing, like- <laughs> Yeah, you're on a, on a fucking Zoom call flying all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm reading this thing. I'm like, my brain, I'm, I'm like, am I foggy right now? Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking I have had a little bit of brain fog. And obviously I've had sleeping issues and I've been very vocal about that. Sure. I think it should be a bad sleep influencer. That could be my thing. A bad sleep influencer? Yeah. Well, like, you got to turn it around and then be the sleep influencer. You go, this well, no, but it. I'm saying like a guy who has anxiety or a oh. guy who's depressed or Oh, you yeah, know, like your identity is I don't yeah, sleep my well. <laughs> my identity is that I'm insomniac. <laughs> Not the worst idea. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, it is kind of... It's not that different from what the fuck they're doing. Yeah. They're just like, oh, I'm sad today. It's like, I fucking lie there. <laughs> <laughs> the lie there with my fucking thoughts. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. I just thought that one... I mean, yeah. Well, my wife the other day, she's like... I, uh, she she thought I, I was, like, breathing weird when I was sleeping. And then she's like, maybe I have sleep apnea. And then I went... Oh, down fuck. Dude, I'd I went down the fuck... Did. Oh, hey, dude, I don't think I there's anything, that. man, I think I'd rather be dead than just be, like, hooked up to the thing sleeping. Be like, I'd love that. <laughs> Dan Vader. <laughs> or whatever, and then I went down the rabbit hole, and I was watching more plates, more dates, because he's like, because the sleep apnea thing is is super common on for all, like, bodybuilders. They all have it, and he's Well, like, because their body's so their big. Their body's so big, and it just, like, it puts, like, pressure on your, like, whatever, and if you haven't had your tonsils out, which I've never had my tonsils out, that's, like can cause or whatever and he's talking about like let's yeah. make more room for your activities <laughs> that too but uh but anyways it's just like it, it deprives your brain of oxygen it does the same thing like basically makes your heart work super hard and deprives your brain to of get oxygen the brain up there because you know they say that like all the bodybuilders just like they die when they're 40 and stuff and people attribute it to steroids which it might be but then he's also like probably every bodybuilder has not that i'm saying i'm a bodybuilder but he's like they all have sleep apnea and that's actually why they're dying because their heart is just working so hard Hard. Oh, so it's a combination. It's a of combination. Them. You're yeah. like every your heart every which way is working. It's just overtime. getting killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the sleep apnea thing apparently. So uh, I, I don't think. But well, I I've been trying blood. to do a better posture thing. But you feel nerdy. <laughs> feels nerdy to be straight up. Yeah. Sometimes you see people and they're sitting really straight up and you're just yeah. like, uh, your brain's working it's for better, man. but at what cost? At what cost? <laughs> I know. Maybe we'll just, just uh, all the, Fucking all Mill around. House. Mill house. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough, man. You got to think about it. I always try and do it. And then you're like, but if I'm not actively thinking about it, then I just regress. You, exactly. Right. right. It's, you have to, you have to systemize it where you get chairs. They're a certain way and do the thing, but I'm going to try because I'm, I mean, you know, we're in them. These clap. are like those crazy ergonomic chairs. They don't do it. My ergonomic keyboard never leaves me bored. <laughs> <laughs> It'll work. You, uh, you've been probably following the hurricane stuff, but oh, yeah. obviously, I think it happened, you know, uh, four or five days ago with the Lieutenant Dan stuff and oh, everything, okay, right? The so biggest cancellation, the biggest rise to fame to cancellation did, in the history of the Did he officially, uh, did, did you watch the stream? The Aiden Ross, uh, what, no, I don't think so. Well, he's dro <laughs> he's and he <laughs> I saw the end bomb. Yeah, he yeah. was dropping them like casually, like he kept saying, you know, yeah, yeah. you don't want to mess with me, N word, like that kind of oh, thing. Okay. And then he goes, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> 
And then he, yeah, like he had six times where he he beat up a cop. He, he like what, he lit a woman on lit fire. A woman on fire, <laughs> dude. That was the best part. Was they they were like they made him this hero, and then someone started looking into his like arrest record. They're like, yeah, he's like currently like has like charges for lighting a woman on fire that he got in an argument with <laughs> well really I, I said this already but it, not on this podcast but it was the uh they everyone loves a florida man until he starts doing florida man shit yeah it was just like oh what's next we're gonna find out that he smokes you know <laughs> but meth but i was it was i was loving it because it was just it was the it was a vintage cycle of the internet yeah and they're getting smaller and smaller normally that would happen over the course of like two three months yeah. now it was like by at 6 a.m he's a hero by 7 p.m this guy is the devil devil war yeah worst guy he's like the cancellation cycles are so the cancellation tight. cycles are tightened up yeah yeah because everyone that has made an industry of that stuff you know they're they're on it, right? They have a whole team. So when something happens, they have nine videos out by noon. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's a whole and like, then people who talk about that. Yeah. So, so I think the cancel cycles are just, and they're on overdrive because of TikTok. Yeah. It was so funny too because there was a guy with his exact same name who was like a convicted like sex offender who was like okay. in jail for life. So then they're like, this guy's like, and then they had to be like, no, no, that's a different guy with the same name. Is <laughs> that's not him? That's not our boy, <laughs> Lieutenant Dan. Well, the craziest thing I saw was it was multiple people. And the girl and the guy are being interviewed by the news and the girl's talking to the camera and she goes, yeah, I said that we should leave, but he said it's probably going to be a false alarm like last time and he wasn't worried about it. So we ended up staying and now, now look at us, our house collapsed and above us and the, the girl's like, you know, oh, yeah, water time. up to their waist. There's like crocodiles kicking around <laughs> and I'm just watching this. It was like making me laugh for like days where I was just like, this guy is going to be hearing about oh. this. For, can you imagine? Oh, man. You that, you, that's like getting you know how how bad you hear about it if you just get lost driving how bad you hear about it if you're like i don't think it's gonna rain we don't need an umbrella yeah. <laughs> this guy said we don't need to this guy's got need scuba gear on in his fucking house being like yeah it's my bad this guy cannot say anything for the rest of his life mm. it's, no matter what happens yeah you know he was just like oh i don't you know i don't think it's gonna be cold we don't and just what did you just say? okay right. you know what we'll just extra preparation for everything let's bring a doomsday kit wherever we go and <laughs> he gets nothing for being right like if they left <laughs> and then they come back and their house is untouched. It's not like well, they didn't have the trauma of going through it, I right? But I'm saying he's not getting a point. He doesn't get to be, a, you know, come home and be like, look, nothing happened. Oh, of course not. Nothing. Like it's not like he, she's like, no, no. Well, that was still the right thing to do. Exactly. Total like L all around. But this is the ultimate L. He didn't. He didn't do his like uh, relationship actuarial tables to just see like, <laughs> like the the grid of like, oh, how does this ever work out for me? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? You're like, oh, there's no scenario where I win this. No, he's, it's a, the hurricane was putting dudes in a rough position, man, oh, rocking a hard place. Yeah, but there was a lot of. Uh, uh, we don't have a sound effect yet, but I would like one. Jew news. Jew news. <laughs> Jew news. This is a the, the last one was a tiny story. This is a tiny hat story. There's a yeah 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 yeah. That was, <laughs> tiny hat news. <laughs> tiny well. hat. Yeah, da, 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 da. <laughs> Welcome to the Tiny uh, Hat uh, Broadcasting uh, Corporation. Uh, uh, Actually, yeah. there is before we get to the main Tiny Hat news. <laughs> I'm gonna play Alan Dershowitz. Uh, you know, we're familiar with Alan Dershowitz, oh, I would imagine. Familiar. Oh, yeah. Alan Dershowitz, uh, lawyer of Epstein, or are you pals with Epstein? Pals, very good pals. Very good pals. He's on the island. He's doing this stuff. And so that's been starting to hit. Alan Dershowitz is a little bit of a press whore, too. He's out there. Dude, he used... The thing with him is, that, like, I probably... If you're a little younger, you don't realize, but he was considered, like, the most esteemed legal scholar in I remember America. a Beastie Boy song. Didn't it have something, something, I'm going to take on Alan Dershowitz? Uh, maybe. maybe not. I don't know. But it was like, he was... Dude, he was like Harvard Law. Like this guy is like the number one legal expert scholar in like America. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. He was the man. He was the guy that was like a reference point it's, for like. It's a honestly, he's lawyer. got a Giuliani situation where he's really struggling with the fact that nobody like respects him anymore. He is struggling with it. Oh, big time. Well, he's on this. He's on Pierce Morgan, which is you know it's a Fight Club right now. Yeah. And then he goes on Pierce Morgan with this Palestine guy, and yeah. I guess they're talking about Israel Palestine. The guy has the most him. like Islamic name in the world, Mohammed Hijab. <laughs> the guy I, says Mohammed yeah, Hijab. Yeah, yeah. Like literally, like that's like what a racist <laughs> would call some dude. Goes look at this fucking Mohammed Hijab over here. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I'm in a job. Uh, yeah, that's definitely like a guy being it's like, like fucking Shekel Coinstein over here. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely <laughs> Rice Ching Chong <laughs> Yeah like literally <laughs> <laughs> Your first name's Rice Yeah Right Right <laughs> So he's, he's And So Muhammad Hijab Is giving it to him right yeah. And he keeps calling him a pervert <laughs> mm-hmm. But if my His response to being called a pervert Was legendary A I'm pervert d- An old pervert He's not a pervert Or a monster Why <laughs> Pierce got his back He's not a pervert He's not a pervert <laughs> You uh, Epstein And for us there's good info. Why are you doing this, Mohammed? Why not? Old it's man, too. You might get a few okay. clicks ask on it. Ask your questions. You might get a ask few clicks questions. on it. It's, so it's, what? It's not, it's not. Ask your questions. Let, let me be very clear. It's not pointless. He just called me a pervert. He will be sued now <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's, for defamation. <laughs> and we will be able to resolve this opinion. in, in a court we have of law. Uh, I guarantee <laughs> you that he will be sued. In my understanding, you are a pervert the woman because who you are acquainted with Jeffrey Epstein. Has now withdrawn sure, her Sure, I've got accusation. my own defamation cases. I know he starts going off about other people that have withdrawn their, th- uh, their accusation. He goes, oh, you think they're the first person who called me a pervert? <laughs> <laughs> we have a whole department dedicated to people who thought that they could just call me a pervert publicly. <laughs> I want how, how does even defamation suits like outside of countries? <laughs> how does that work? Like, how does defamation on the, on the internet though? Like this guy lives in England. Well, he's no. He says he's going to sue him in an English. Co- oh, we'll continue. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> he he may have me. confused me with somebody me else. Well. And I calling me a pervert, be a pervert will result a connection with in a Epstein. defamation lawsuit. Sure, in an American for it. court I'm and ready. in a British I'm ready court. For oh, 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 okay. I believe Let's you move are on to. Okay, that's enough. Right. So he's getting. He's going to get a, a defamation. Tough in both spot for Piers Morgan because Piers Morgan's like, oh god. What is? What do you think Piers Morgan's tough situation is? Well, he's just like he obviously brought this guy on. Oh, he loves this shit. Yeah, I don't know. He seemed like he was kind of getting kind of squirmy in his seat there. No, Pierce Morgan. Because he's boys with, with Dershowitz. I think Pierce Morgan's brain is fucking lighting up like, like we got a clip. Click, click time. Yeah, I, th- I think yeah. I think Pierce Morgan's brain works like a casino, <laughs> you know, where he just goes, he's like, oh, yeah, this is going to be. I think that 100% he's just seeing jackpot, jackpot, jackpot. Yeah. Although I guess Dershowitz at this point knows that if he's going on debating people that this is the stuff that might come up, he's probably prepared. He has a whole legal team, but he said, he goes, I called someone else, called me a pervert, and they have now had to come out and say they must have mistaken me for someone else. <laughs> <laughs> right. If that's the worst, if that's the whole penalty is you go on Piers Morgan and then you have to put out a tweet. Being yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you go, yeah. Yeah, I go on this podcast where 5 million people watch us and then I just put out a tweet being like, whoops. He's not a pervert, turns yeah. out. It's actually pretty reasonable what he does. <laughs> I was uh, mistaken you for how can Alan you not call Bershowitz. Someone a, how can you not... <laughs> My bad. How can you not call someone a pervert, though? What is that? Like, what is even the grounds for suing? Uh, d- d- I guess we know the guy that got in trouble for saying a guy's a terrorist, but they feel like they're somewhat subjective, whereas terrorist feels a little less subjective, but pervert's like, well, in my opinion, he's a pervert. He has sex more than once a year. That's what I consider to be a pervert. Sure. Like, yeah, I don't, know, I don't know what the legal definition is. Do you is. or do you not like a set of titties <laughs> in mean, the courtroom? I mean, he's, the guy is, again, Muhammad Hijab has got a case, obviously, with all the tie-in steps. You bring it, you just bring in, you bring in a, a photo of a naked girl, and you go, take a look at his eyes right now. <laughs> Bit of Are a those per- the beady eyes of someone <laughs> who is not a pervert? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look at those beady eyes just making their way over to this set of jugs. Mm-hmm. Bit of a pervert, if you ask me. I'd say so. Yeah. Well. So... But the real, the real tiny hat news is that Columbus may be one of the chosens. You're welcome, Americans. <laughs> you are welcome. And uh, sorry, I feel like sorry, natives. This was the ultimate uh, finding Jews putting on lists of things, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you must. I, I felt like you were on Twitter in the midst of this controversy, so, tweeting about it and, and stuff like that. So uh, what's the discourse coming from different different people? It's just some academic did some deep dive. I think they said they exhumed his body. They took the or, body and they did was, the DNA test. Well, I think they think he, his body, and then uh, which is uh, very much a blow to the Jews aren't white camp. Why? Well, because obviously DNA tests show that they're Jewish, right? Oh, so Gia, you're saying no, why is that I mean, a blow to them? Well, because it's like the because obviously I mean I obviously joke about it, but like the 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 people who say Jews aren't white, they go, well, you can take a DNA test and find that someone's Jewish, but you can f- take a DNA test and find someone's uh, Cauc- Hungarian. Hungary. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. You can find someone's from uh, Germany. Yeah, I guess you can find. Yeah, that's true. I suppose. I don't know. But that, you're right. Well, how can you find that they're Jewish? Yeah. I, I guess know. eventually it, it traces some them sort back of, to a yeah, place some where sort of only some, Jews were or something I like guess that. There's some sort of something. And there's where's a tinge that? of green in the blood. <laughs> 
there's gold flakes <laughs> in the blood. <laughs> like a bottle of what's yeah, that like, like a bottle of, yeah, what is that shit? What is that drink? Like <laughs> gross. Goldschlager, right? <laughs> <laughs> Jewish blood has gold Goldschlager. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, and then you, you look at the photo. I saw someone post a photo. This guy, and you go, kind of does look a little. He looks a little chewy. To be honest, <laughs> there might be something there. Well, well yeah. What, what was the original mission about? Because they were trying to find India. It's trying to find India. And gold? Then, yeah, it's gold. Uh, uh, yeah, he's trying to find gold. And uh, I mean, <laughs> and then he came to the United States and he couldn't find gold. And then he goes, slaves are good though. And then he brought all these Indians <laughs> back as slaves. He goes, I couldn't find you any gold, but I got you. I guess it's of sort slaves. of bad for Jewish people because every, like in America, everyone hates them a little bit. Christopher Columbus. Ah, uh, not the Italians. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a blow to Italians. Uh, yeah, dude, Italians have been getting hit fucking left and right. They call it Indigenous People's Day now. They're like, yeah, they have been bad things, dude. When we moved here, Cuomo's not allowed to, so, yeah, have a good, have a, a lo- hug that takes longer than a second. I know. And when we moved here, I remember the first year I moved here, and they're like Columbus Day, and everybody was like, rah rah, Columbus Day, no issues there, and then. Boom, You're saying now. right when we moved here, so like recently. Yeah, five years ago, it was Columbus Day. It wasn't Indigenous People's Day when we moved here. It was Columbus Day. Now it's Indigenous People's Day? Well, it depends who you ask, the fucking <laughs> the Italians. But they're trying to push that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, trying, sure. to make, they're trying to make Indigenous People's Day happen, and what you're saying is sort of is happening. Like, it's actually catching on a bit. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then now Columbus is Jewish. So I don't know who's, which side this helps, I guess. It hurts the Italians only. This You're is, saying it hurts the Italians. This is, this is this neutral is, for the Jews. Uh, I mean, I'm sure the Jews are like, we'll take them. It's not the worst, right? Yeah, you Jews think it'd like, be positive yeah. being like, yeah, guys, you know. Yeah. Or do the Jews are like, ah, another guy that didn't find gold. Yeah, like, another think- another colonizer who fucked over the indigenous people. Yeah, maybe there's that part of it where, nah, you know. Nah, Jews will take them. Like, if you, if you, uh, if, if you see... Um, like old school like jail like white supremacist groups when they're like oh you brought black people over your slaves they're like no we didn't that was the jews that was the jews yeah like yeah. And, you know that oh, yeah, yeah, they're sure. they're like their argument is that like we didn't want that yeah yeah we didn't want that yeah we didn't want the coloreds here yeah, that's what they we say just want only whites and the indians who happen to be here already but that's about it but yeah i don't know it's uh the jews will take them i know for a fact the jews will take them <laughs> Jews are pumped about this one. Bill Maher has been uh, getting into it, a fellow, uh, <clears throat> a tiny. F- Bill Maher has been getting it. <laughs> he's not Jewish. Everybody thinks he's Jewish for some reason. The fuck? I know. He has a really Jewy looking face. He's not Jewish. You're kidding me. Dude, honestly, that's one of those things. That's where people not are, true. Go ahead and check the early life, man. I'm telling you, this is, you've been what reading the, the fuck? You've been reading the wrong lists, pal. <laughs> I'm not reading the list. Ryan's, Ryan's been leading the fake list. What the fuck? I think he's like pro- Protestant. Irish American? Yeah. He's, he's, he's one of yours. Until his teens, he was unaware that his mother, whose family oh. was hungry, was Jewish. Ah, okay. But he <laughs> yeah. didn't grow up Jewish. His mom. Oh, ah, okay. Well, there you go. I guess he has some some in the blood. Where are you getting these fucking bad facts from, Danny? But he wasn't raised Jewish in any way. <laughs> He, <laughs> dude, if you find out, look team, at him. This is like Columbus being like, I guess I'm going to synagogue now. No, but, but, but you think that when I say someone's, you don't go to synagogue? No. He used to say he wasn't. What? He used to say he wasn't. He used to say he wasn't. No. He, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, if I had a nickel. <laughs> <laughs> Convenient. <laughs> oh, so I guess, it, well, then he is on the list. That gets you on the list. I, that, that's crazy. So I can't believe that uh, you thought he wasn't. I mean, for a second there, you almost. I mean, he doesn't identify world. in any way as someone who's Jewish, though. Oh, I'm, I mean, I'm, not, I'm talking about the way he looks and talks and acts. Yeah. yeah oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I I said he does look like a Jew. I said that right at the beginning. No, real. <laughs> <laughs> I did say that he does look like a Jew, but nice try, think. Danny. <laughs> you tried to pawn him off. Eh? <laughs> said Mars not one of mine. Yeah. All right. Well, anyways, Mar has been uh, he he got in, uh, he was kind of uh, going viral right and left because he made a video basically talking about Chappelle Roan, yeah, who's a big singer, uh-huh. and she basically was a Palestine person, and he was like, if you were in Palestine, you'd get thrown off the roofs. Sure, the, you know the classic argument. Everybody loves that one. It's cla- <laughs> classic. Everybody loves that one. <laughs> vintage, right? Mm-hmm. So vintage, you know, kind of vintage boomer argument back and forth, right? Sure. And then it was making me laugh to think that Bill Maher also released a second <laughs> a second video to be in like, and we should talk it out possibly over some whiskey. <laughs> Bill Maher loves the young ones, oh, right? Oh, yeah, of course. So you're telling me Bill Maher, like, in his mind, he's not like 
I'm nagging her a little bit, yeah. but you know, when we get her back to the Bill Maher mansion, get some Hollywood things, I On get the her podcast. Dude, I get her a little reservation at Nobu, <laughs> compliments of the Mar Man. The Marmeister. The Marmeister. I, I guarantee you, Bill Maher will have like people on his show that uh like he completely disagrees with like have some like super progressive feminist on there that's like fucking men are the worst white men need to sit down and he argues with her and then they like finish the podcast and he was like so later on you think yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you know what i mean like sure yeah yeah, yeah. Do you yeah this, remember the sketch we did with karen fien where it was the trans trans uh women the trans nagging? men are at advantage in a nagging competition yeah, yeah. and then you're trying to hit on her after yeah, yeah, yeah. that was oh, that's, for sure i feel like that's what bill maher does afterwards like he i guarantee he's taking a shot you know what i mean yeah yeah for sure yeah he goes this is just all show you know this is just for tv i'm not i'm not really like this he, i think he does do a bit of that yeah he's a, i mean he's a fucking pussy hound he is a hound that should like he has not been able Mah- Muhammad Hijab would probably call him a pervert. <laughs> oh, Muhammad Hijab would, would not be kind. Well, Muhammad Hijab was happy. He got his clip. Uh, Muhammad Hijab, well done. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Fellas, everyone is always looking for better ways to eat while at the same time not breaking the bank. And that's why we're telling you about Orgain. I'm always looking for nutritious options to add to my routine. I finally found one that tastes amazing. It isn't super expensive. One of the biggest challenges of eating better is that so many products taste bad. Well, there's a brand that's cracked that code, providing real nutrition, also tastes incredible. We got a box of them in the studio. Me and Danny have been cranking them. We actually tore through like a oh, yeah. <laughs> we tore through like 50 yeah, of them. they're good they're tasty <laughs> yeah cheat days aside what i put in my body matters to me i want to fuel it with the best stuff out there our sponsor orgain makes it easy to do that so orgain has been a game changer you're getting your protein it tastes great like i said we have been ripping through them it's the leader in real protein powered nutrition that understands that being good for you doesn't have to taste bad so they are great and the founder andrew abraham dr andrew abraham Abraham believes that real nutrition has the power to make a difference in people's lives. If you got them in your house, you crank one in your backpack, you crank one in the suitcase, you know, even even the fanny pack. These things yeah, are not huge. Very portable. Pop it in there. You have something for later, whether you're taking it on a plane, whatever you're trying to do here, Orgain's brand new 30 gram complete protein shake offers protein packed, real nutrition designed to satisfy your cravings without the sugar. Gives me energy to keep going, muscle support, recovery, maintain a healthy lifestyle. So Orgain's 30 gram protein shakes are available at Costco and Orgain.com. If you want to get the delicious protein pack nutrition today, head to Orgain.com slash boyscast. Use the code boyscast for 20% off your order. Once again, that is O-R-G-A-I-N.com slash boyscast for 20% off. And make sure you use our promo code boyscast so they know we sent you and you get 20% off. With Robinhood Gold, you don't need a silver spoon to eat up the financial favors of the 1%. Robinhood Gold allows others to get the rates and perks usually reserved for the high society. Now, the resourceful individual with Robinhood Gold can earn the very liberal rate of 4.5% APY on uninvested cash, receive unlimited 1% deposit bonuses, and be rewarded with a handsome 3% retirement boost on an IRA account. Robinhood Gold provides the privileges of a high net worth for any net worth. These generous benefits are now available for only $5 a month. The new gold standard is here with Robinhood Gold. Sign up at Robinhood.com slash gold. Terms apply for product-specific disclosures. Visit Robinhood.com slash gold. Investing involves risks. Rate may change. Gold membership is offered by Robinhood Gold, LLC. Okay, so I feel like everyone sent this. This is the big thing on the internet. Danny already did a video about it. And I feel like we have to watch the new Kamala ad that was oh, geared yeah. towards men. I'm a white dude. I This was probably one of... Uh, the last one we watched was pretty funny, but this was something else. And I guess every... You know, the betting markets have been really saying that Kamala Harris has been hit, you know? And you have I a mean, conspiracy. I, I do have a conspiracy, yeah. Hit, him, hit me this with is, it. This is my new conspiracy. I only thought of this this afternoon. But so... Um, <laughs> This, this is a morning conspiracy. This is my conspiracy in coffee. But uh, so the betting markets are like insane on poly market right now. Trump's at 60%. 
Like, it's just like he's running away with it. So my conspiracy is that because the Democrats, like, they have tons of money right now. Like, they have more money than they could do anything with. And they can't, they're not figuring out a way to really use it effectively. Like, she's, you know, there's talk of her going on Rogan, which is obviously free. Like, there's all these things that, like, you're not running ads. You're now just doing podcasts and going on. What are, well, why aren't they, they're running ads. They're running ads, but I'm saying they have more money than they can run ads with. Like they can't, they, the like, ad spend's too big. It's like when a billionaire is like, make my daughter a famous singer. We have a billion dollars and you're like, we don't even really know what to do with more than a couple. Yeah, you're 10 like million. we could run some ads for fifty million. I don't know, like like anyway. I guess yeah, you're like in how many TV ads? Uh, yeah, I see. What I you're guess saying. there's a cap on how much you could spend because the original when when uh, Trump, I guess you get more people making phone calls doing door to door. Yeah, stuff. you could do you could hire more people. Um, Street poster campaigns. That's I guess. All, yeah, but that's only a couple hundred bucks. <laughs> I guess. But anyways, the original conspiracy theory was when it really dislocated like a week ago and Trump started running away with it was like, you know, some big Republican guy was going on. Like some people were saying it was Peter Thiel or something was like going and just threw a hundred million on on Trump to basically make it look like Trump's running away with it. And then my my galaxy brain conspiracy theory is that the Democrats are actually taking some of their money. So everyone goes, he's it's such a lock, I don't need to vote. Such a yeah, basically being like, look, Trump's running away with it and the Republicans are like, I don't even need to vote. But wouldn't it work the other way too? It could work the other way. Where you go, oh if it's not even if she she's just getting blown out. But the Dems are notoriously get out to vote more than the Republicans. Is that true? Yes. For sure. And Democratic women. Is part of that because they live in cities and it's easier to vote? Uh, I don't know the explanation. I think they're just Like, you got to think if you live, like, 30 miles from the nearest thing, like, voting is going to be, like, a whole day for you. I don't think any... Whereas, like, if you're in New York City, you probably walk to the nearest thing and it's a five-minute thing. Well, but you can do it over, like, I guess if you're somewhere in the woods or whatever, you can do, uh, like, mail-in voting and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, they have ways around it. But anyways, that's my... It it might be bullshit. Obviously, I have nothing to back this up whatsoever. But also, then if you're wrong... Like if you're the if you're betting all this money on Trump and then you guys do end up losing, you just win a bunch of money. Mm-hmm. I don't know what you can do with it because it's probably like specifically campaign funds, unless it's being kind of done. Oh, you uh, think the actual campaign did that? I don't know, or I, I don't know who's doing it. <laughs> you said uh, someone I mean, though. I mean, it's a pretty fresh conspiracy in my mind. <laughs> you, haven't, so. you haven't really worked out the inner workings of it yet. No, no, no. I'm just this is total nonsense. Well, but. she had a new thing recently. They are. It did seem like they're floundering a little bit because she posted a new thing and she was like. I'm gonna give black guys weed. <laughs> yeah, but I think Trump said he's legalizing weed too. So. But it was the way she did it. It was like a yeah. It was it was her black, a big, it, was, it was a specific. They posted a big thing and it was like a note to black men and it was just like yeah yeah. You know I'm gonna be good on crypto, which is good for men. But it just feels. But it's racist only specifically like, black. Like uh, yeah, it was a, a Kamala Harris. Here's her her notes to the black men and it was just in like, it was basically like her being like. <laughs> it, it felt. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it was like her. It was as if you were just like, you know what? I want to dress everyone separately. White guys. We're gonna get the guns. Guns are coming to you. We got some brothers in the house. We got some brothers. <laughs> brothers. What's up, we're brothers? gonna be smoking them up if we got them. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then yeah. she's like, and the women in the house. Yo, man, can't tell you what to do. <laughs> and then we also got some Italians in the house. Hey, yo, hey, yo. Yeah. It really felt like a comic. I don't think it's legal. Oh, here it is, groups. right here. Kamala Harris will create an opportunity agenda for black men. Provide one Indian, million. We loans. got some Indian men in the house. Oh, when you tell your dad you're not being a doctor, <laughs> you know that we getting hurt real bad. Am I right? <laughs> and I got I got a policy for the Indians in America that no longer will your parents be able to hurt you real bad. <laughs> <laughs> you, you will not be getting hurt real bad by this economy. Yet, no, that's how you panders to the, <laughs> the Indians. But um, yeah, a million loans that are fully forgivable up to 20k for black entrepreneurs which seems illegal like just to, just, a, to, to just be like oh only like i don't know that seems there's like, gotta be i used to that seems gotta like be some, some title nine thing around that and then there's a training education and then protect cryptocurrency investments so black men who make them know their money is safe it didn't even say it's like i'm gonna do crypto which obviously helps black guys because i know a black guy that has crypto <laughs> yeah you guys you're all getting scammed on crypto <laughs> right you brought that rim coin that ended up <laughs> Be in a rug pull. Like, what? What are you talking? I'm gonna unrug pull rim coin. <laughs> Grill coin got you real bad. I don't know. It doesn't. That one, the cryptocurrency, and then just says legalize marijuana. So the weed one to me was just. But the Trump funniest, said he's legalizing weed like, too, though. I thought. Gonna make sure everyone that all, any Maui Wowie that you buy will have adequate THC levels. <laughs> I mean, it worked for Trudeau. Yeah, the weed thing. But the thing is, I'm pretty sure Trump said he's also going to legalize weed. He's I am going to. I'm going to make it double illegal for a dealer to not give a fat <laughs> count. <laughs>
Yeah. All in my presidency, there will be the fattest counts of any dealers that you've ever seen. I mean, we're getting, we're, what are we like? We're like three weeks away here. Dank weed for blacks. That's yeah. our new policy. Yeah, it just felt a little weird, right? Yeah, yeah. But then they did the they did this video for I guess they're trying to. We did the one where they're trying to appeal to white guys, uh -huh. and then they need they did one just like men in general. Tough, tough man, I think is what it is. Or something. <laughs> and then so, but everyone started looking up the actors, and you found the actors. Well, doing Well, I videos. found them all. So it's the guy who made it. It's this guy Jacob Reed. He used to be a segment producer, and uh, the the one I made was like the video I made of. But because uh, the funniest thing to me was in he goes on laura coates live or whatever on cnn and he's talking about it he's just like he looks this, exactly how you think he he's looks. like a ucb like he kind of looks like matt matt walsh actually kind of right <laughs> he looks just like matt walsh but he goes on there he used to be like a segment producer for kimmel but if you look at his imdb it's like literally 2020 just it ends <laughs> his imdb ends at 2020 and then he made a white guy for Kamala. And, and then, then he one made, white guy for Kamala. And in the ad, like the the saddest thing to me was he was like, yeah, he's like, you know, we're just a bunch of film dudes, and we like, we made this thing, and you know, look what we can make. We can make this amazing thing for two hundred bucks. So like, you know, he's like, I've written all these scripts. If anybody wants to hire me, he and, didn't say that in the yes, interview. Yes, in the interview, he goes, he's like, I wrote, a, and that was the thing that like stuck out. He's like, you know, I've uh, I got all these feature scripts. So if any, and you could just tell you like feel bad for him. You're like, and like literally, you're a guy who just fought for diversity, and now you can't get a job. Yeah, yeah. You know what no, I mean? No, I thought you were nailed yeah, it. Yeah, you're just like, he's just like, I can't work <laughs> <laughs> anymore. Because you're right. So this guy wanted to be making, you know, comedy videos. And instead, he wanted to be, you know, writing for Kimmel and eventually for yeah. The Simpsons. And he was. And now instead of that, he's... He's just like making these spec campaign fucking campaign propaganda. Ads, yeah. yeah. To be like, hey guys, I'm one of the good ones. Wait, that was spec. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't paid for by Kamala Harris. <laughs> that was... He just made it with the boys. Oh, stop. Yeah. He, oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was straight up. He just made it. Oh, no. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was... thought this was like the only gig he got was... The... No. No, 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 Did, Was no, it no, White no. Guys for Harris didn't give him the money for it? No. He All just right, made this for his, his own fun. Play this bad boy. <laughs> oh, wait. I have this tapper interview, too. Sorry. <laughs> I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a man, man. And I'm man enough. I'm man. I'm a man. <laughs> That's a good start. I'm a man. <laughs> now you're a man. <laughs> I forgot how it started. <laughs> I'm a man. I'm a man. It's the most. That's definitely every man that I ever know always announces. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm a man. <laughs> I mean, you kind of nailed it. <laughs> I'm a man. <laughs> Fuck, this one is actually getting me. And I guess what? It's like there's like a fat guy and then like a There's a fat guy. guy there's like a uh, there's like a black guy. And then they're all like, uh, then there's like this one fruity dude who's sitting on a pickup truck. <laughs> so this is very, I'm one of the good guys. Hire me, please. Well, he's not outright saying that, but this no, is definitely I know, his but token I sacrifice. I thought he was getting some Skrilla for this. He so. got zero dollars zip zero for, for this because his shop pretty nice so the guy's an okay director. That's his, and that's what he's saying he's like <laughs> i'm like he's like i am a very talented writer and director fucking please he's like i have a he literally said he goes he's like i got a couple he kids didn't say, he didn't mention the kids in the wife yeah he goes i got a wife and kids he didn't specifically like beg for a job <laughs> yeah, yeah, or anything in but he's fewer just like words in fewer words he's just like i not working in Hollywood at all. I've been doing this for 20 years. He's like, he. if you look at his IMDb, he did have, he did like 100 segments for Kimmel. Okay, and so he had, a, he had a good gig. He had four <laughs> years ago. <laughs> and George Floyd happened, and then now he doesn't get to work anymore. I'm going to start this again, because that I'm a man really got me. I'm a man. I'm a man. <laughs> I'm a man, man. And I'm man enough. I'm man enough to enjoy a barrel-proof bourbon. Neat. Man enough to cook my steak rare. Man enough to deadlift 500, then braid the shit out of my daughter's hair. You think I'm afraid? Man enough to cook my steak rare. So they're, they're saying that it's the, the typical wisdom is that man eat their steak well done. Yes. So then I'm manly then. I suppose. <laughs> or no, I guess I don't know. But it's funny because he refers to this as I guess it a is satire. A fancy, but, but you know. That's a fancy thing is me, that I see that as a fancy thing. To what? Have your steak super rare? Uh, no, it's just a man. It's just it's looked down on. You go, you go. You're such a man that you're eating a cow that's like borderline alive. 
Oh, it's Whereas more manly to eat it alive. Yeah, you're like a pussy if you eat it well done, which is true. Oh, then I'm then I reverse <laughs> that, which is very true. But women don't like them well done, do they? Women? Uh, women don't like a fucking chewy steak. Well, I don't know. So then this is stupid. I don't know. I feel like it's depends. I guess I'm nitpicking. We're not on talking one about thing. women right now, You're Ryan. right. I'm sort of upset. I just got caught up on this one thing. We will continue. To rebuild a carburetor. I eat carburetors for breakfast. <laughs> I ain't afraid of bears. That's what bear hugs. Are. <laughs> carburetor is definitely a script written by oh. a guy that doesn't know what men do. Yeah, these are Hollywood <laughs> bug men right here. <laughs> Like, these are not fucking, these guys are not. I mean, that's fucking. what I would be like. You know, I'm obviously a classic man. You're like, what shit you into? Carburetors. Fucking rebuild the carburetor. <laughs> sand uh, it down. Yeah, I like carburetors. I'm football. surprised. Dude, the outtakes was like them just like literally kicking a tire on a car. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. Like, <laughs> see, they couldn't even do a throwing a football because I guarantee you none of them can throw a football. It's a pretty like, good I'm point. A man. The black guy could have thrown a spiral, I'm Whoa, sure. Whoa, Ryan. You don't think that guy could throw a spiral? Say that to my face. Uh, we'll see. Come know. on, stop it. I don't know. I'll tell you another thing I sure as shit am not afraid of. Women. <laughs> I'm not afraid of women. I'm not afraid of women. They want to control their bodies? I say go for it. They want to use IVF to start a family? I'm not afraid of families. They want to be child. <laughs> Who's afraid of families? I don't know. I'm like what is that? What's I mean, the, conservatives love families. What's the argument there? That, the like, crazy thing to me is he he considers this comedy and satire. Mm -hmm. He goes, this is like he's like I'm a comedy guy, ah. and this is comedy. And you go, this is comedy. Yeah, what's this? The, what's well, the comedy? I don't really get some of these arguments. You know, I'm not afraid of family. Like I, the like the idea that I guess the argument was they're saying the Republicans don't want IVF, but okay, I'm afraid guess, of but family. They love families. They do love families. Those cat ladies have all the cats you want. Woman wants to be president. Well, I hope she has the guts to look me right in the eye and accept my full throated endorsement. Because I'm throated. Man to <laughs> full throated. Man enough to know what kind of donuts I like. Man enough to admit I'm lost, even when I refuse to ask for directions. Man enough to not ban young women from reading Little Women. Or one of those pants books that the sisters like. I'm man enough to raw dog a flight. It sucked. Not worth it. I'm man enough to be emotional. Oh, well, now they're going life. in on raw dogging. In front of my horse. I'm man enough to tell you that I cry at Love Actually. Goodwill Hunting. West Side Story. That and Predator. It's a lot of crying. so-called men domineering, belittling, and controlling women just so they can feel more powerful. That's not how my mama raised me. I love women. I love women who support their families. Women who decide not to have families. Women who take charge. And I'm man enough to help them win. Yeah. Well, you got the idea. On spec. Yeah, that's pretty wild. Pretty, pretty crazy. Because <laughs> like, you think, he said, he's like, just to, to be clear, like they didn't hire me to make this. And he's trying to show off his kind of directing and producing chops here <laughs> yeah definitely yeah yeah but no just uh and you know what maybe the harris campaign throws him a little bone we'll take one more please it was funny the funniest part was they looked up all the people and they were like you know it was all like this guy's just a drama. out of work actors yeah i guess they're, most of them they're were all that. like so they you all can't are. really blame the actors because i guess the actors is a guy where the, oh did they do it on did the actors get paid fuck no he said he made it for 200 bucks no they're just his friends that he knows from like ucb yeah this these are all like people who, like, i thought this was like paid for by kamala no, campaign. no 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 these are like originally he, these are like you know he he takes a ucb like improv class you know and then you know how actors are like oh i'll uh I'm going to expand my repertoire. You know, it did get less funny for me when I found it. It was just a guy making it. Because now yeah. it's like some guy made a crappy video, whatever. I thought this was like a legitimate, no. like, White Guys for Harris campaign. You know, what do they call it? The Super PAC video yeah, yeah, yeah. funded. No. You know, I'm thinking this was like a hundred. They put a hundred K into this piece of shit. 200 bucks, right? Yeah. If some guy that like some Kamala Harris made some crappy video. It's a little less funny to mm. me because it has been the talk of the Internet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and interestingly enough, if you go on TikTok where it was first posted, uh, just the difference between platforms on TikTok actually is pretty well received. Like, if you look at the comments, they like it on TikTok. Well, it's girl. I guess girls like it. I guess. And then you go on YouTube or Twitter, and he's just getting fucking annihilated. So yeah, who who would like that though? Girls on TikTok. I mean, isn't I can't imagine it's changed anyone's mind. There's someone's like, fuck. I mean, I love carburetors. Yeah, I'm a I'm a fucking man. All right, less funny than I thought. All right, so. But we have to talk about this because, you know, Danny, and if people are tired of hearing about the AI saga, move on, but it's probably one of my favorite things in the world. I was in my hotel room just fucking <laughs> cracking up laughing. <laughs> this, I know we got a lot of videos today. It's only the last one, but there was three, but. Me and my boy, the tap man. So Danny Bolshuk, and people have been following the story. <laughs> the tap man 
Danny's in the group chat with him. <laughs> does him a favor, makes this video. Not even a group chat. We just have a solo chat. It's now, me and Tapman. now the Tap Man's doing a press tour. Yeah. Demeaning you. Yeah. I'm trying to get AI banned. <laughs> it, literally. So he's on Seth Meyers. Well, here's the thing. Here's the. I'll, goes, I'll just give one comment about the demeaning part. <laughs> is he's a company man. He makes, I'm pretty sure, like $10 million a year. Mm -hmm. So he has to, in public, be like. This was sure. This was, but, a, but it also does feel fan, like he's a part of it. In private, he's a big fan. Okay, I'm telling you, you made one. You made <laughs> one video about this guy in AI, and it's like that's his whole identity now. Yeah. He's like the AI guy. Well, because I, think you changed the pathway. You changed his path in life. I know, and I think his whole deal is he wants, like, he wants them to pass laws against AI and then take credit for it. Right, like that's his thinking here. I got he's you. like, he's like, I. They need to pass laws to like rein this shit in. And he wants to be the guy who says, I did that. Mm. Yeah. Well, he called you gross. <laughs> he said the video was gross. He said the video was gross. <laughs> he didn't refer to me gross. I can tell you in private. Right, we got to be careful what we say about Danny's boyfriend here. But. <laughs> <laughs> Staffer, um, as you mentioned, you've got to cover a lot of things. Like the WAP lawmakers, many of whom, frankly, seem unable to manage their I, know, I mean, it's obviously a picture of me, but like, I th No. He, that comedian, did a gross deep fake of me about something else. Yeah. And people. Maybe he's talking about the gross because it's the people fucking goats, maybe? That's the gross thing? <laughs> I'm telling you, the man for, loves it. I did forget the original one it was the goat fucking. Yeah, the goat fucking. I think that's what he's talking about. <laughs> that's tough. It's. <laughs> Tell you the Tatman. Tatman's that a fan. comedian did a gross video <laughs> because you're sort of the comedian he doesn't want to name either. He yeah, yeah, like yeah. Th he threw your name out of the original yeah, one. Yeah, the original one. Yeah, this comedian who won't be named. I'm yeah. telling you, he thinks I'm brilliant. <laughs> the CNN producers, not so much, but. Uh, <laughs> Okay, I won't talk bad about your boyfriend that much, but I was in my hotel room fucking dying when I watched that, man. I was, <laughs> when I saw, Gross video. I, you made this one AI video. Now Jake Tavers doing an entire press yeah, tour yeah, fucking demeaning it. <laughs> Uh, okay, I always love you know. There's certain things that just always get me with the Will Smith drama. I'm always paying attention to Prince Harry's another one. Yeah, you know, I, I'm very drawn to a story where a guy, um, you know, shacks up with like a very public succubus mm -hmm. and then sort of you know drain takes where it's very clear what's going on to everybody but to him, everyone right? but him. Like, yeah, he's the only guy where you're like you're and literally also, in the haunted house and you're like get out of the house. You go. The foundation's yeah. pretty solid in the house though. It's a nice good house. bones. Yeah, good bones in the house. <laughs> nice house. I don't know. I like it. Real real cozy. And then on top of that. There was a little bit at the beginning where you're sort of an asshole for pointing it out. Mm -hmm. Which in real life, obviously that's the case. If a guy's got a shitty girlfriend and you're the guy being like, That girl's a bitch, like you know, you're not yeah. it's not they're you're not, not gonna, gonna be, be hanging rewarded. out. Much. You're not gonna be hanging out much. Yeah, anymore. you're definitely not gonna be rewarded for that behavior. You gotta be you gotta tread lightly. Oh, but no. I don't know these folks. Nope. So know. Prince Harry realizes the depth of his loss after separating from Meghan Markle. And the bottom line is Prince Harry According to inside sources. <laughs> According to inside sources. But I've seen there's a whole a million of these articles, right? Yeah. But allegedly, the idea is that Harry, now that he's sort of breaking up with Meghan Markle, they're living in separate places, and now he's starting to be like, this is much worse than my old house. This man, you know, you know what his old job was? You, you go stand on a float and uh, you yeah. do that with your hand mm -hmm. and then you get paid a zillion dollars. Yeah. So that was his old job was you do you, you could do that with your hand. Every once in a while you cut a ribbon mm -hmm. and then you go to the fanciest restaurants and that's the job. You were literally... And if anyone writes anything bad for you, the biggest press machine in the history of the world makes it disappear. Uh -huh. Now... This man can't even go to P. Diddy parties. Nope. He's living in... Freak-offs. Uh, he's done with the freak-offs. I guess he basically like lives in Hollywood now. I guess, yeah. He's, he you lives know. in Malibu, walks on the beach alone, just yeah, he, kicking the sand. He's an executive producer on a podcast and a Netflix series where you know that they don't take his notes. You know, he's an yeah, executive... Yeah, title only. He's an executive producer on title only, and you know that he thought that when he was getting to be an executive producer, he's like, oh, that would be fun to have some creative input on some Netflix shows, and he goes... He walks into the room, everyone rolls their eyes oh, yeah, at him. Yeah, he's on set and he's like can i get a earpiece and they go uh we don't have any left oh my god no like, yeah, left. Can goes, how do i hear it he goes you can just listen yeah can, stand over there. <laughs> yeah he's standing in the side like, do you mind if i take a peek in the monitor yeah, yeah, yeah. uh 
Harry, can someone can someone give Harry? Yeah. Uh, he's got like a kitty monitor that's not even a. He's like thing. sitting in craft services, just eating <laughs> snacks with the extras. Yeah, he's literally just like wandering around set and basically doing nothing. He's like, oh, if you do this, you go, yeah, definitely. Maybe we'll try that at the end if we have time. And you go, can someone get fucking? And this guy's like, is this not my series? Is like this guy? No one wants his advice. He can't go to his P Diddy parties anymore. Yeah, he calls he calls up the fucking king of England, doesn't pick up. Just oh yeah, like the secretary be like, uh, he'll get back to you. He's just busy right <laughs> yeah. now. So he's, I think Prince Andrew's just like walking down La Brea at this point. You know, maybe I'll get Prince a Harry. coffee. Andrew, Prince Harry, Andrew's sorry. Dis- I think Prince, Prince Harry's just walking around. He probably goes. To, he's like, maybe I'll do a yoga class. Yep. Like at this point, he's going to start act doing acting classes because he's got he's just got time on his hands. Yeah, UCB doing some <laughs> improv classes. You know what I mean? I think he probably does. Like, he's killing time the way that, like, a rich wife in, you know, Beverly Hills does. You know, Prince Harry probably wakes up. He probably, you know, he walks down to get his lattes because it kills an extra hour. Then he does a yoga class. Then it, now it's one. You know, he calls a few people. They don't respond. <laughs> yeah. And he texts Brad Pitt. He, you know, he lo- waits for that for 10 minutes. He doesn't get, Brad Pitt doesn't get back Oh, to he's a big, big phone call guy probably. He just likes to shoot There's the shit. He's a couple people that he shoots the shit shoots with. Shoots the shit. So uh, maybe watch some YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, and he's he's kind of like his name's tainted within the royal community. Well, he they excommunicated him. He literally left the family over this. Like that and, was the whole deal, right? Is he's like yeah, he like he's like I'm leaving the family, and I don't think you could just pull like, up the and stands he, and, and show was, back up. He, I don't. No, I don't think that's you what happens. You can't just pretend the- like you just didn't leave and go, hey, I'm here. For- no, if he does go, wants to show back up to the royal family and do that, he's going to have to eat so much crow. Like, uh, he's going to come back hands and knees, right? I don't think it's even an option. You don't, you don't like disgrace them like that, you know? Call them racist? Yeah, yeah. You don't. I don't think that works. I don't think they're letting them come back. So the winner in this whole thing is Meghan Markle. You have to respect. the She is the ultimate winner of this. She went in. Broke up the royal family, rose her profile by a hundred x times. Yep. Finally got that Netflix show. You know she's gotten every she's, press junket. Every, now she gets talked about like she's the royal family, and she doesn't even have to be in it. Yeah, and she's getting more of that suits coin for sure. She's probably getting more in. suits coin. Oh, for sure, dude. Don't you remember last year? All I mean, she's a, gonna have coin. All of a Lilar. sudden, Suits was just the number one show on Netflix eight years after it was after it ended yeah well she's doing tours she's doing uh, tours right now talking to kids and stuff saying she, she understands bullying because she's the most bullied person on earth that's what she's been saying yeah, i mean we're bullying her right now a bit aren't we <laughs> aren't we she's the bully uh t- feel bad for the guy man it's like jada pinkett smith her they're the bullies that's- you know i've said this before but if any guy said i started dating this girl and i pulled her away from her family and friends and i made her you know excommunicated from her family and friends and now she moved to a different country and, and she doesn't talk to anyone and i've cut off all her uh you know, lifelines and yeah, resources yeah. and all that sort of stuff. And then now we break up, you'd go, yeah, that guy's a monster. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. What that, everyone that's would what's say. called abuse. Yeah. That's also what's called Psychological like a, abuse. that's what sex traffickers do. Uh-huh. <laughs> and he had his pick of anybody. He, he was the, the good looking one. He wasn't the weird looking one. You're right. I know. He was like literally the good looking one. Yeah. The Hitler costume. Like he was the good looking cool one. Yeah. And now he's just wandering around La Brea, looking at the names like a tourist. He's talking to the Wolverine for a couple minutes. Wolverine's like, listen, pal, I got to work. You yeah, know? yeah. He's probably like hangs out on the corner and then they have like the tours of famous people's houses and he's out there just so he can yeah, he, like, hey, <laughs> It's Harry here. He greets the tour. <laughs> you don't really look like Prince Harry. Are you like I'm impersonating? Just to give him a little, no, no, it's me, little it's taste me. of the old life. the ID and everything. <laughs> no, 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 look, it's me. I'm telling you. It's me, Harry. It's me, Harry. Uh, can you tell us where we can meet Megan? He goes, <laughs> okay. Uh, you know what? Get the fuck Get the fuck off <laughs> <Yeah>. my lawn. <laughs> Beat it! Scram. Yeah, so I think that's what's happening, but I feel bad for the guy. No one is immune. I mean, no, there's no person who's immune from just picking the wrong chick and fucking up your whole life. No one's safe, man. Nobody is safe from that. It's so crazy because there's everybody's like, oh, money solves all your problems, blah, blah, blah. And you go, no, man. I'll tell you what, Bill Mars, I, I think, done it better because at least he does. You know, if you're talking about the older guy just running through young sniz on Hollywood. Yep. None of them have ever really got him in a big way where they didn't get any money from him. They didn't nope. wreck his life. So, and he lived at fucking like you know he basically was living at Playboy Mansion. Yeah, but the then Toronto. you got to be like the lifetime zero, Playboy. Yeah, but zero cancellations. I know Bill Maher like probably doing the craziest sex shit. Didn't get any problems. Nothing. Yeah, and I think I guess the moral of the whole story is that if you are gonna you know take zero risk, there isn't zero risk in his life. He might just be a lucky guy. But the real end of the but you do have to also be like the I'm the you know. 70 year old playboy guy yeah, which sure. obviously gets sad yes 
Yeah, yeah. Because well, I mean, you you have to. The problem is with uh, as you get much much older. If in the absence, I, I mean, Hollywood obviously w works a little different, but you have to keep making new friends because all your friends eventually get married and stuff like that. And, you know, yeah. to some degree, when people meet up, it was, you know, a lot of times it's like, oh, we'll bring the wives. And it was like, people don't want to be like us, our three wives and Bill. And Bill Maher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Although he probably has like, it's like Spade, you know, he just, he always has a new chick that he can. Well, just that's what I'm saying. Hollywood, Hollywood, I think you but can. But the wives, you know, the different. wives don't love like all the 50, 60 year old wives. Lives, and then Bill's just there with his fucking twenty-five-year-old like new oh, girlfriend of the. Week no one they, wants. No one wants the guy bringing his new twenty-five-year-old uh, around. And the, <laughs> the wives just fucking shooting daggers at both of them, and they got to talk to the fucking twenty-five-year-old who they know is like they're like we've seen fifty of you. Like, oh, this yeah, is yeah, temporary. Yeah. So like, there's not even a point of building a bond here or anything. Like, you are going to be gone soon. No, they would just say we're not doing that anymore. Yeah, I'm not doing. <laughs> Yeah, so I guess as long as he has a show, he can kind of have... I have Prince Harry. He's going to have to start hanging out with Bill Maher. I mean, that's the duo. Oh, that'll be a fun one. Yeah, I, I don't know what the move is for Prince Harry. I mean, he's made his bet a little bit, and it's going to be hard to get out of that thing. Uh-huh, yeah. I'd like to see Harry and Will Smith get together and just see the two of those guys on Johnny Depp's boat with two smoking hot chicks and being like... You know, Will and Harry's reality show, and it's just them. I mean, it's Will and Harry do like a bachelorette show where they do the thing, and at the end of it, it was a prank. We're not marrying any of you. It was just us getting our dick wet, and it was like Harry and Will are back. I mean, it's available to them anytime they want. The Fresh Prince and the Prince. Come on, <laughs> hey, not bad, not bad. <laughs> the Fresh Prince and the Fresher Prince, <laughs> and it should be two princes, and the Spin Doctor song should definitely be. <laughs> Yes, and if you pry me from my family, <laughs> just go ahead now. And if you <laughs> yeah. want to talk for hours, well, Megan did that. You might, you might have an EP credit in your future here. Hey, I'm saying this is the move. It's Will Smith. We get Prince Harry. I can't think of it off the top of my head if there's any others that fit into that category, but I'm sure there's many more. I don't know any of the high-profile ones. Yeah. Yeah, who knows, too? Like, maybe. I, I don't know. <laughs> And it's Will Johnny Depp's playing the song with his band Will Smith and Harry, and it's their life, you know, running through Hollywood chicks. I'd watch it. I'd, I'd watch it at as least well. one episode. <laughs> oh God, this is boring. Uh, if there's something to do with Smith and Wethin, would also be a good name. If <laughs> Prince Harry wants to change his last name to, to Wethin, so uh, <laughs> Prince Harry, if you'd consider changing your last name Smith and Wethin, I'd like to see also... that meeting. So the show's a go, <laughs> one catch. We're pretty tied to the name. <laughs> we're tied. To so we're going to need you to change your last it's name. It's either that or we have this guy, Jake Wesson, that's lined up. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's a bit of a... He was on uh, one of those... Jake Wesson was actually a extra in SVU season eight. He was uh, he was cut from The Bachelor. He almost made it onto the, one of the seasons <laughs> of The Bachelor. He was a final cut. So. And Wesson's chomping at the bit to be He's, part of this project. You were so. him, man. We, we love you, but... Fellas, Prize Picks is the best place to get real money sports action. With over 10 million members, billions of dollars in award winnings, Prize Picks has made daily fantasy sports accessible to all. You just pick more or less on at least two players for a shot to win up to 100 times your cash. Run your game all season long with Prize Picks. You can now win up to 100 times your money with Prize Picks with as little as four correct picks. Prize Picks is the best place to get real money on sports action. Join over over 10 million users sign up today. Prize Picks puts its members first, so all withdrawals are fast, safe, secure. When my picks hit, I know I'm getting my money in as quick as 15 minutes. You sign up today, you get 50 bucks instantly. When you play $5, you don't even need to win to receive the $50 bonus. It is guaranteed. Prize Picks offers weekly promotions that can lead to payouts like Taco Tuesday. Each Tuesday, Prize Picks discounts selected player projections up to 25% to provide even more value for your lineups. All right, and this week on Prize Picks, I'm looking at the football board. And here are my picks. Justin Jefferson of the Minnesota Vikings for more than 83 and a half receiving yards and Patrick Mahomes for less than 267 and a half passing yards. Also taking Tyreek Hill for more than 97 and a half receiving yards and Saquon Barkley for more than 67 and a half rush yards. Download the app today and use BoysCast to get $50 instantly after you play your first $5 lineup. That is BoysCast to get $50 instantly after you play your first $5 lineup. 
Prize picks run your game. And fellas, I'm sure you've heard us talk about Mando, whole body deodorant. At this point, everyone's been talking about it, so this isn't the first you're hearing. You can use it on your whole body. Yes, we're talking your whole body. It is dermatologist tested, gentle on all your bits, controls odor for 72 hours, clinically proven. You can choose from four cologne quality scents or unscented if you want to get stealthy. You can all imagine a scenario where you need that kind of protection. We're talking 72 hours. Sometimes you're sleeping somewhere else. Maybe you weren't planning. Maybe you want to, Maybe you're taking a long plane ride and you're going to be sleeping on the plane. Maybe you're just going to be away from home for a long time. Or maybe you just had a long day. So 72 hours has got you covered. The deodorant stick has a whole body formula. Doesn't cause irritation. It smells really good. The DO cream tube also 72 hour protection doctor developed smells really good we got body wash cleansing bar deodorant wipes truly can't recommend the product enough so if you're ready to make the upgrade to mando whole body deodorant it is seriously safe to use anywhere on your body pits packages belly buttons butt cracks stinky crevices stomach folds your feet the whole body deodorant is powerful enough for even the toughest body odor but gentle enough to use everywhere including the family jewels that we are talking about aluminum free baking soda free cruelty free dye free clinically proven to control odor better than a shower and soap alone 12 hours after a shower the average men's grundle odor and if people were asking in the comment section grundle. what the grundle odor section is bam yeah. right underneath here pal mm -hmm. was five out of ten with mando the average grundle odor was zero out of ten so mando starter pack is perfect for new customers it comes with a solid stick deodorant cream tube deodorant two free products of your choice like mini body wash or deodorant wipes and free shipping luckily we got a discount code this is not a pricey product but we'll help you get hooked on your new favorite smelling whole body deodorant on the market new customers get five bucks off the starter pack with our exclusive code that equates to over 40 percent off your starter pack use the code boyscast at shopmando.com s-h-o-p-m-a-n-d-o.com and the code is boyscast Back to, back to the election, which is about to take over everyone's life. Yeah, you know, do you it's, think do you think it's a real fork in the road for America. That's gonna I have go. a question for you. Do you think uh, censorship is going to increase under a Trump win? Yes, more so than a Kamala win. I do. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, because I think some people. I've I've heard a lot. Of people I mean, being, if history is any indication, I know I've heard some people being like, "Oh man, if Trump wins, like the censorship, that's over." I'm like, no, it's going way up. It won't be the same as before, though, because I think that Zuckerberg's not going to get, you know, he's not going to find himself in that. He's not going to find himself in that position. I think that it was uncharted territory. And I think a lot of the, the big tech guys, they go, we know what the cycle looks like a little more now because it was kind of a new thing that was coming at you that people hadn't experienced in 20 years. And so I think a lot of a lot of people were going to stay a little more neutral than they did before. Yeah. You know what I mean? So obviously, I don't think Twitter would be affected by it. They're, you know, if yeah, he, Twitter won't. he'll get sued right and Unless left. Unless they do the Pavel Durov on him. You know, other countries are going to be more screwed. Like, it's going to go harder in the other countries. But yes, it is my opinion that, you know, people are going to get censored more and all that stuff under Trump. I, my, that's my prediction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I think, too. It's just the will. I mean, censorship happens least when people stop paying attention. Yeah. When, when, if they're able to make we need censorship to be a, like, prime issue... It's just there's so many eyes on it, and there's like so much like you know what I mean. They get yeah. so much people on board with the cause. For sure, for sure. I mean, I've only whereas had if if she wins, it'll just drift away a little bit, and yeah. they'll be doing it in the background. Yeah, I mean, but that's true. They might be doing it more on in all the my background. AI videos. The only it'll one. definitely feel like it's more under Trump, whether or not in reality it is. Right, right, yeah. Like the only AI from a video, legal perspective, it potentially won't be from a legal. Yeah, like the only AI video I got a strike on was the Kamala Harris caller daddy video bullying and, for cyberbullying. And I posted, that was originally why I uh, that was I posted originally the connection I was going to make. Yeah, is and I posted you're a bully on, and uh, <laughs> Prince Harry bully. That was the original. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I posted it on a different channel. I made a backup channel. I posted it on that channel. And I got the same thing: strike cyberbullying. So it's like, so were you cyberbullying her or were you cyberbullying the other girl? I think I'm cyberbullying the literally the second most powerful person in the world, which is I'm, I'm punching down on the vice yeah. president of the United States somehow. You pre and then, uh, yeah, the front runner or whatever, one of the two front runners. Yeah, one of the two front runners for, to be the president. I'm bullying. Well, this is um, TikTok users have been doing their part as well. 
And they've been going undercover in swing states, convincing their dating app matches to vote in November. This is by goodgoodgood.co. Good, good, good. good. <laughs> Pretty good name for a right. website. Yeah. Maddie Hart exclaims in a recent video, I used my Hinge profile to get a bunch of people registered to vote in Pennsylvania. So it's a real micro-influencer situation here. One by one. The one girl's even a lesbian, and she said she's been doing this. And then she's been trying to give people tips. So it's kind of back to the original, you know, this is the kind of stuff you're going to be seeing. Yeah. This year, I want to convince someone to register the vote and then fall in love. From then, that's what it says on her Hinge profile. From then, she lured matches and had a number of insightful conversations about voter registration. As it turns out, it's all part of the bigger strategy. So I think that it's probably worth noting out. Worth noting. Yeah. <laughs> worth pointing worth out. Worth pointing out. <laughs> it is worth pointing out. That men might be willing to have a uh, forty-five minute conversation with you about voting if they think you're going to bone. Absolutely. Unfortunately for this chick, once you get into that booth, it's a little bit of a different story, sister. Uh, well, the thing or is, or don't get into that booth. Well, they're going to get in that booth, and they're going to be like that chick, fucking that liberal chick, fucking wasting me my around, time, wasting my time. Trump twenty twenty four. I think so, right? Because what, what's the plan? You're dating. You're, you're on these conversations with 19 guys, and you're like, "I'll go on a date with you, and you vote for me." It's like either that doesn't happen, in which case you pissed him off, and another case is he's just lying. Yeah. I mean, and then she goes, "Did you vote?" You go, "Yeah." Yeah. Let so. me see. Let me see the sticker. No, really, what she's like got? You can't get one of those stickers. Really, what she's got to do is she's got to fuck him. She's got to go on the date if she because she obviously wants him to vote for her, Harris. She's got to bang him, Register. and she's got to and he's and she's got to like act like you know there's more pussy coming at you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But like she's basically got to like take him on a date. How many guys can you have in limbo where they're like, ah, I, this girl really wants me to do this? And how many guys could you get to do that that weren't already probably on board with the cause? Yeah, yeah. Like you yeah. really, like you're trying to get undecided or flip Trump voters, and I mean. You know, you might get a few. I don't, don't doesn't seem like a fucking strategy put out. to me. If but you put out, it is funny that the articles are already starting to come back where it's like to stop Trump. I was using my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, man! The porn industry jumped into the presidential campaign, right. <laughs> so they started doing on porn sites. They started doing Kamala ads. Come on, <laughs> not porns. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think that's what's happening. It's kind of like Nailing. right as you're about to nut, it's yeah. like a vote. Come on, oh, oh. what the fuck? <laughs> Hands off my porn, you know, a lot of... Sure. Well, they, they, a lot oh, because this is the Project 2025 where they're saying they're coming for your porn. They said they're coming for your porn. Mm. I don't think they are. I think but I think that would be... Uh, that would definitely not work, though, if they try to do it in streams where, you know, mid-video... Yeah, mid-video ads. I don't think so. Mid-rolls on the uh, Harris. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd still rather see that than Trump's face, though. I wouldn't want to see either faces. No, but if I had to choose, <laughs> I love how they're so desperate too with the Trump stuff now. Where they're like, they're they're going back to like his spray tans weird. Oh really? Oh yeah, yeah. They're they're on the spray tans weird thing because he's like he has. I mean, I don't get why he doesn't get a better spray tan. Why person, doesn't he get a better? Spray unless tan? he's doing it himself because he's so. Uh, just no, like he has vain. a team probably. Oh, he he's must. like they can't do it. Like, but I like can't. he has like if you ever see a girl who has like bad foundation, like the like, Juggalos still yeah, do their own makeup. Exactly, but like because you see it and like there's just like this line. Where it just goes like, and you know, obviously when you're 80 years old or whatever, it just looks better to be tanned than not tanned, but it's just like the blending is bad. Like it's such a, just like a hmm. pronounced line where it just ends. But then I guess you can't get in the hair. I don't know. I've never. Well, really they've also started the thing recently where uh, MSNBC analysts says Trump voters and Joe Rogan listeners are in crisis and need therapy. So they've started. This is the kind. I feel like this is like a window in what it might start to look like because I feel like this week Trump started to feel like he was ahead. So I think that people started turning on the sauce a little bit. Yeah, but I mean, this this probably got written before. Kamala Harris on Rogan was was starting getting oh, yeah, rumored so. <laughs> around, so they're like Rogan voters are the or listeners are the worst. This go, is MSNBC, they're actually not that yeah. bad. Well, they had a big thing. I feel like it was a big conversation this week where a lot of people on Twitter and a lot of people analysts were sort of saying that. I mean, obviously they started that with Tim Walsh trying to have the thing, but they're basically saying that you know Democrats weren't speaking to men and like a lot of the influence aren't speaking to men, and they're and it kind of felt like to me it was funny because they're all just like you know. We need to be we need to be able to speak to men without ever, you know, saying that stuff men are doing are good. It's kind of like they're like, you know, it's like uh, hating men 2.0. It's like all the hating men with liking men. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It, it, it feels like they're trying to it's like they're trying, they're to, trying to thread a very difficult needle. Yeah, they're needle, trying to yeah. thread yeah. a very difficult needle and it doesn't work and you're just like 
and the only thing they can do is be like, well, it's because the you know young guys like you know fascists, and you're just like, oh, they just don't. Maybe they just don't. It's like they don't like being told what to do. And a lot of these dudes, and told they're bad. There's so many dudes where they're like, they're oh, like the stuff they're into, like this guy, and you go, yeah, for a year. Uh-huh. Do you know like quickly like high school kids change their entire identity? Yeah, you know what I mean. There's so many guys you're like, oh, this you know. Where he's into Andrew Tate and he's this thing and you're like, yeah, then he got some pussy and now he's like a goth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Some goth chick kind of did it for him and now that's what he's on. <laughs> yeah, then he started, the you know, watching this thing and now he's into that. Now. And then he goes to college and he's a new guy. He yeah, yeah shows then he's up a new college, guy. Fresh slate. Yeah, it's almost like the cycles are so quick. The only way to make the cycles go on forever is you fight them so hard that it makes people dig their heels in and defend their identity and then they're like, you know what I mean? It's like a good way to make a 13-year-old boy be that forever is tell him so that he can't do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I don't know how this is going to pan out, but we'll see. Well, the answer, and that, that's what they're sort of saying. They're like, well, well we need to show a better version, right? And they haven't like, been able to figure though. out that messaging. Yeah, they haven't been. Like the the men, the Harris, like reaching men. Like obviously she went on all the chick podcast. She's going on Fox today. Today's Wednesday. She's going on Fox, Brett Baer okay. today. Because I guess she's trying to be like. Yeah, what I, would you do? If you were if you were like Democrat strategy right now and you're like, we need to reach men, what would your strategy be? I mean, the Rogan thing is not the worst idea. Crypto just, stuff's probably not bad. Crypto stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Like, People just don't buy it, really. The thing is, she's too inauthentic and she's trying to do the whole thing where like, I'm just like one of you. And I almost think she's better off being like, I'm not one of you. Just this is what I'm going to do. That's but not her, bad. But her policies standard. aren't good. That's her problem. She hasn't like, she was too late. She did all these interviews. She didn't particularly kill any of them or even do okay on any of them. Like it came out that they 60 minutes edited her interview. Like she's just like, she's not. Uh, at the end of the day, like, you know, Obama was so effective because he's like funny, like Trump. He can just like riff for You know what would actually help her? Okay, this is what I would say. UCB classes? <laughs> no. <laughs> if I was running the strategy for them, I would say come out with your endorsement of like one of the guys being like like Rogan or something. Uh-huh. Like Kamala Harris comes out and being like, yeah, I don't know. Some people say this, but I don't know. I just think Rogan's like, I, I just think he's great. Yeah. Like, pick, it's too late though. No, but like Dana White or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just being like, be like, pick a person and then be like, yeah, I know there's just some press about them, but like for some reason, I just really like him. Like that's my crush. Right. Like almost like that way. I, I like Morgan Wallen. And you, yeah, but you <laughs> give, I think you would give like, it's, I think it's a little thing that like sometimes female comics do too. You give an inkling that they can put their mind. You're like, oh, I know the type of girl that I don't agree with on everything, but like she actually does kind of yeah. like a dude that's a dude. Sure, like, sure. Like she gives, give the impression that, you, oh, I, you don't know all, all the things about me. Behind closed doors, I, I actually fucking guys like Rogan that's my my buddies but don't you can't say it you have to just like hint it like almost as if you were saying like I don't know I guess I have to have a soft spot for that guy I really he rubs me the right way I really like him yeah that would be my that advice. would be good you Pick know what like a person that means a lot to a lot of people and just say that you like him you like him yeah I think she's kind of super screwed on all this authenticity stuff just because this whole thing happened so quickly like where she's become the candidate and we didn't really know that much about her like because they, you know, for three and a half years, they literally hit her away. And then they trot her out and you got to learn all this stuff about her. And anything she says, you're like, well, I don't have any reference point of you saying this ever. You're just all of a sudden being like, here are the things about me. And you're like, I don't know. Like, yeah, you're like saying you, she has bigger like problems. You just, well, yeah. You, you don't know. think that me, my technique of her saying one guy she likes is going to swing the election? No. <laughs> well, like with Trump, though. I'm, was, tell, I'm telling you, I'm in the right... <laughs> the Trump thing is... I'm moving in the right direction. Yeah, though. yeah, but the Trump thing is like we, we've seen him in front on TV for 20 years, so you just you kind of like know everything about him. So he, he says something, you go, yeah, that checks out with my frame 20-year frame of reference on him. And then she says something, you have to instantly be like, ah, oh, I don't know. I don't really know anything about it. It seems like you're just saying this right now you know, get votes for the election. Like when she drank the beer on Stephen Colbert, and she's like, you know, mm-hmm. I don't know. This is like, I know what you're trying to do, but yeah. everybody knows what this that's is. That's a classic politician move where they go and try to drink the beer. Yeah, exactly. I feel like that's like vintage politician. Exactly. And like, I don't know if it's ever... It, it, it always sort of doesn't hit. It doesn't hit. <laughs> like the drinking the beer thing doesn't hit and you're like, it's just, it seems it is, extra desperate. It is her. funny how like in political strategy, the, like it's one of the classic go-tos of like after a night of brainstorming, like a sip of beer. Yeah, just go have a beer. It's like, it's like we probably think you drink wine. 
Like it would she make, probably does drink wine. Exactly. Yeah. You're like it doesn't even make sense. She drinks wine out of like chicks don't beer and chicks is not even. But like that a thing. see, this is where what I'm coming where I'm coming at it. Right. You're. I think you're exactly right. Where you go, this doesn't jive with what I know. But if you go, I, you know, everyone sees her as like, no, you're a fancy pants. You're drinking wine on Martha's Vineyard. You're at like a high class dinner with people. You might be fun. Like people are kind. So people, that's all believable, right? Yeah. And then people have like a version of that. And if you go, think of that person in your life or someone you know that's like that. And you go, the ones you hate would be this, and the one that might you might be like, all right, they're all right. Yeah. Is they might say like, oh, I don't know what it is. I just actually you have seen my. I just think dana white's like the man like if they said one little thing like that you might be like oh she's a cool one of those sure but like, the problem you know what i mean is, so it's like yeah. but it needs to slot into like what you a vision of her that like makes sense in people's brains yeah but the problem is like in any of those things like some, I'll, I'll listen some, i'll take the job as the strategist for yeah, yeah. 100k <laughs> a <laughs> but day like, but like <laughs> the, the ufc thing is then instantly you go well we've never seen you at a ufc event it's like we see Trump all the no, time. No, but that's why I didn't say... That's I'm why I said it has to be the person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, be the person this is why I say you have to say the person. You can't I say... I who that person would be. Like, you couldn't say I like the podcast. You can't say I like the sport. I'm I, When I said it that time, I was referring to in your own life, you could yeah, see yeah, that yeah. and being like, oh, that girl's kind of fun, that aunt you or whatever. You could say that with musicians. You know, you'd be like, you could see us being at like your wedding and being like, yeah, you know, yeah. Joe's aunt's kind yeah, of fun. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, maybe like she's like, I love the Stones or something. I don't know, but I don't know how much. I think it's here. a guy. I think you got to pick a guy. Yeah, a guy that you know that she would be in a little troubled, and she is set, admits it's like her guilty pleasure. Yeah, her guilty pleasure. But you yeah. kind of see her as like, okay, she would be the fun one of those. Mm. Trump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My guilty pleasures. I actually love Donald Trump. <laughs> I think it's got to be a guy that's like on the margin of acceptability mm. in terms of yeah. optics of her base. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, Rogan. You well, know. that's all I have. That's my. But I'm telling you, that's better than their brainstorming of sip yeah. Of just beer. go on call her daddy and just talk to people who are already voting for you, and I guess just hope that they just do. Yeah, I wonder if people listening to this are thinking my strategy is bad. But I think. Yeah. I think I'm pretty. I think I. I know get, you're saying I've your given, strategy. I just I'll don't tell know that you, I've given girl comics advice decent amount of times where I'm like, yo, this thing remove this one thing you're saying or add this one thing you're saying and all of a sudden it makes people like ugh, to like like them yeah yeah i feel like i'm pretty good at like slight little change that makes people like you better mm. and i think part of it is because uh i i come across as unlikable so i feel like i've had like on stage i feel like i've had to yeah yeah of course you've had to work i've had to yourself. figure that out yeah and i think that uh in figuring that out i became an expert at like the little things you might do to make a group of people that wouldn't that would maybe you'd rub the wrong way off the bat not mind you or you could do my strategy <laughs> and kamala harris's strategy and just remain unlikable <laughs> oh, that's true Me but kamala. then you have to go heal and it doesn't i don't think yeah, the, I a democrat heal doesn't work democrat heal doesn't work no 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 i'll message jake tapper i'll get a i'll send a <laughs> i'll send him a message being like we need to get a hold of the harris campaign i mean he's only one text away <laughs> And he, he, I'll text him, and then he'll text them. I mean, he's got all their numbers. I here. think it's interesting to me, like what they could do, because the, you know, that's that the part of like politics is sort of interesting to me, because it's a little like comedy. You yeah, know? you're like, sure. how do I? You know, obviously it's all a lie. Well, not maybe not every single person is a lie, but a lot of politics, the guy is like, how do we present you in a way that you know people like you? Yeah, without, it's crazy. Too. Without being like, dude, the, the, did you see Trump? Fucking like this is someone pointing this out, but she is such a bad candidate where Trump is out there shilling all this fucking nonsense and is like not, what, dude? He had a like crypto coin come out yesterday, which is just like a probably a total scam it looks insane you're gonna short it <laughs> we, i don't i don't know but like dude it looks like such on its face such an insane dude he has a hundred thousand dollar watch that he's selling right now he has uh, selling a watch for 100k 100 grand which i saw some watchmaker be like this is like a fucking three thousand dollar watch probably five thousand dollar watch he has uh a hundred thousand dollar watch he has a crypto thing that he's coming out with what does he need so much money for exactly. if you're saying like dude it's either he's like thinking past the election if he loses and he's like, well, you know what? Let's just like keep my, but, but it seems like the scammiest shit to be doing three weeks before the election. It seems like the guy that you follow on Twitter and then have to unfollow because you realize how much of a scammer. Honestly, and you're like, what are you, like I saw the crypto thing. I go, what the fuck is this guy doing? <laughs> and it's not hurting him. Ah. Like relative to her, yeah, because yeah, yeah. She's not doing well at all. Yeah, like a scam coin like ruined Logan Paul's life. Yeah, and yeah. you would think like, hey, wait until three weeks. 
Like, just wait three weeks until the election's over and then run your all, shill all your Trump stakes and all that nonsense. And he's doing it three weeks into the election. And you're like, if you were running against anybody else, this would just be the end of your campaign. Man, the, can you imagine the guy that just blew his family's life savings on the $100 Trump watch? 100K, yeah. 100k man yeah Probably. and then his wife's like what he the goes, fuck he goes, that the was our life value on you this don't, yeah you don't said. understand this is gonna be going for two bills yeah minimum. this is like a fucking Audemars Piaget or whatever it's gonna be it's limited <laughs> edition I don't know how to get this through your goes, thick you're, skull you're gonna feel like an idiot when next year I sell this thing for 200k <laughs> All right. So this was probably the best article of the week. And Business Insider, which has been cranking out bangers right now. Yeah. And the fact that they're uh considered have business in their title at this point is is something else, yeah, really. Yeah, they're they're just a My husband is a primary breadwinner. And I this girl's actually we've done an article she wrote uh years ago, okay. I think. My husband is the primary breadwinner. I stay home with the kids, but our marriage is not traditional. And spoiler alert, it's so the reason it's not traditional is she doesn't do much. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. She's like, I don't do the house. Like, he's the breadwinner, but I don't do housework. She goes, I'm a stay-at-home mom. He makes all the money. It's no, no. I know what you're thinking. No, <laughs> no. no. It's just, I don't cook, okay? I don't do any of that shit. Oh, sorry. You were thinking this is traditional? No, I actually no. don't cook or do anything. No, I don't do anything. <laughs> what does she do with her time? Business Insider articles. Oh, okay. She's actually talked a lot about her writing career in the article. Oh, yeah. Husband's the primary earner, but they share the household and parenting duties equally. Seems like a good deal for him. <laughs> yeah, the whole article is just like, my husband's got a crappy deal. Yeah. He makes all the money and I fucking don't do anything. Works 80 hours a week and I just... <laughs> you go, why does he want this deal? And you go, it's because we're well, non-traditional. Well, good luck getting out of it, man. The partnership challenge is traditional gender roles. I, I gotta tell you, it doesn't do that much challenging. Yeah, I it mean, ch- it it cha- would if you are the breadwinner. I mean, it challenges traditional male patients. <laughs> It was pretty traditional. <laughs> Emphasizing equal contribution and respect. Equal contribution in every other aspect every other, other than yeah. the guy makes all the Who money. He fixes stuff. <laughs> he also fixes he stuff. He fixes stuff. He fixes stuff. Who does the yard work? That's him. He also does the yard Who goes work. to work? That's him. Yes. Our life does not align with the provider, protector, or nurturer, homemaker, because I'm not doing any homemaking. None. It more it it it, prov- it it basically aligns more with the nurturer. Ho- it goes nurturer, homemaker, uh, blogger, and then nurturer, homemaker, uh, engineer. Sure, actual money making. Um, so basically, the I guess the gist of it is sort of like really rubbing it in not his your face grand- to be writing the blog about it. Too, <laughs> Pictures huh? in the article has got a picture of me sitting there. He's not looking happy either. Oh I was just sitting there God. with the kids, being like, "Yeah, it's been a pretty it's long." Really, day. like insult to injury on him. Like he, huge. It's almost like, "Hey, I tolerate this. I don't love it." And then she goes, "Hey, you, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to publicize this whole thing." I know. It's not bad enough that the <laughs> yeah, guy's got a bad, bad deal. That it's his actual life. Imagine your girl writing an article that, like, yeah, my husband's got a crappy deal. Yeah, my husband's got a, he's just a total bitch. Not your grandmother's trad wife. <laughs> <laughs> That's essentially what her point is, is she's not your grandmother's trad wife. You go, what's the difference? You go, I don't cook. I also do some paid work outside of domestic duties. I'm a freelance writer. So she wrote this this article. Okay, Business Insider. <laughs> She's maybe. been working on this article for a while. So imagine coming home and you go, why don't you do anything? You go, I'm writing my article. What's your article about how I don't do anything? <laughs> Which is technically something. Monetize. <laughs> Mon- Business Insider maybe Monetize your life, fellas. Pays 20 bucks for one of these <laughs> articles. Max 100. Not, Absolute no max. Way. Not even 100. No way. You think there's some rev share on the clicks? Yeah, which is not much. Yeah, so maybe she. We just made her a penny. Yeah, we made her. A <laughs> which, penny. Well, we made the guy a penny. So. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even. I couldn't. The, the article's paywalled. So, I, and archive the fucking Wayback Machine's been down for like a week. What's the Wayback Machine? Where you can go the archive dot org or whatever. Oh, Pretty crazy, actually. Free it's article plays. Well, and just all the dirt oh, on, on anybody. You, anything. You know, ever usually posted. I when I I forgot. Usually I send you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I find another one, but I guess I. And forgot. And I'm not willing to give Business Insider even one. I guess I did give the money, so I just forget that i'm logged in yeah yeah, yeah. but They're not uh, cheap either these subscriptions are 13 bucks a month subscribe to patreon.com slash the boys yes cast. Uh, please do that the so amount we- of fucking crappy subscriptions i have <laughs> <laughs> so we can bring you all this fucking nonsense <laughs> please consider signing up but uh yeah the wayback machine's been down for like a week which is pretty crazy my desire to use my gifts outside the home was non-negotiable he's very hands-on he does the dishes laundry and grocery shopping what 
is it that you do? <laughs> what I do? <laughs> What does she do? I write for Business Insider about how I don't do things. Three times a year? Um, I can't maximum. imagine she's super in demand here. The way we see it, we're both working all day. Oh. <laughs> Just a knife. Just a knife in that guy right there. He can't even complain that he had a hard day. Oh, yeah, he can't. He goes, yeah, oh, you too. had a hard day. Yeah. You ever had writer's block? <laughs> <laughs> You had to go fucking shopping all day because you couldn't get over your writer's block. I almost got carpal tunnel. Can't say I have. <laughs> so when it comes, when uh, he comes home from work, we're both on the clock for the rest of the night. <sighs> so the, basically, the housework starts at six. When he comes home, she goes, "I'm just got home from work." She goes, "Well, I'm just finished I'm my work." Yeah, uh, let me just hit that space button. <laughs> Just command S here, save this bad boy, and uh, yeah, all right, let's get to work. <sighs> okay. She got the cucumbers on her eyes. When <laughs> <laughs> Ready for the best part? Yeah. I'm actually, actually, enjoy I'm actually happy the fact that you haven't read this one, so I can tell you the best part. Oh, here we go. To be transparent, this has been an area for growth. For some years in our marriage, my husband didn't understand <laughs> and therefore appreciate all that I contributed. So she's saying for the first six years, the husband wasn't really on board. <laughs> yeah, he didn't get it, right? This is, like a, this is like a big sales pitch, like on Dragon or whatever, Shark Tank, where she's trying to describe. She beat him down. She's trying to describe what's going on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, I don't get it. She goes, it's a new paradigm. <laughs> Of relationships, I don't. And for those reasons, I am out. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new paradigm of trad wife. Oh, the moment they drop paradigm, that's when you're in trouble. <laughs> this is definitely 100% the Uber for dogs of relationships. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. So the husband didn't love it. So for she five basically, years. it took her six years to just convince the guy to stop him. bot. To, yes, to convince the guy to just shut up and take it that she's not going to be doing anything. That's the deal. Yeah, yeah. Like he was kind of being like, I don't know, maybe you could like get a part time job. And then she's like, What don't I have? A I have a job. not only do I have a job, I have a career. Yeah, I have a career in journalism. Yeah, and she's also been unhappy that other people haven't seen that too. Uh, another widespread idea in the partnership with traditional gender roles is that the man in charge is the head of the household. In our family, however, we see ourselves as equal partners. So this guy is... Uh, he doesn't. He has no say. <laughs> I mean, not if you ask him after fucking three whiskeys. So basically, she sort of... She's the benefit with like... you're No, you're breadwinner 2.0. All removed benefits of being the breadwinner. <laughs> Get nothing. Get nothing. New school breadwinner. Winner. What does that mean? He goes, they took away all the benefits. <laughs> yeah, when he comes home and he goes, hoping that dinner is just waiting for him. Uh, no, but there's some groceries in the kitchen that you can, that you start, can, whipping you can start whipping up for us. You can start whipping up for us. That's my equal. second job as fucking cook. Don't you love being equal? <laughs> yeah, this quality says <laughs> One of the hardest things about our traditional looking setup is the... <laughs> traditional looking setup? Yeah, well, the problem is she has friends that come over and they go, so you stay at home all day and you've written one article in the year and the guy's a engineer and he makes pretty good money. Oh, so like kind of standard. That's what I'm doing too. She goes, mine's different. Yeah, yeah mine's different. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, like, you must have... Yeah, I don't do housework. <laughs> I don't think you understand. Mine's different. Yeah, this is a different scenario. This is a. Tr I understand. By, believe me, I understand how from the outside looking in, this does seem traditional because every part of it is traditional. But what you're missing is I don't do anything. Mm. Is the assumption people have made about me since I left my career and started living mostly home-based life with the kids. Many seem to think that I'm not ambitious or maybe not even capable. This has been hurtful and it's even harder to embrace the traditional looking life. I mean, I will say, I guess she's babysitting the kids all day. Yeah, 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 that's well. The kids are at school, I guess. Is oh, the thing, okay. right? I don't know the edge of the kids because yeah, if the kids well, are just uh, if the kids are going off to school. Well, my right. argument is, and she's completely doing nothing. I mean, there's two sides of it. One is like, yeah, you're, if you're staying at home with the kids, then you're just like, so it is traditional. Well, she's yeah, like, no, because I remember we talked. I don't remember cook. the one with the guy. Well, she, she's just like, I don't cook. The British guy, and then he was like, he had to do the wife's work or whatever. Remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shared yeah, yeah. or whatever. And then a lot of people in the comments were like, yeah, it's a lot of work to take care of the kids. But if the kids are just off to school at 8 a.m., home at 4 p.m. Then well, you can imagine you the fucking the hell this guy has to pay if they have like a dinner party. They have some people over, and they're like, "Oh, so you're you're basically staying home with the kids?" And she goes, "What did you just he say?" Goes, he goes, "No, oh, did no, no, I don't. No, no, that's not. Her. <laughs> no, 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 she works. <laughs> she works hard. She works very hard. She works very hard. Be like, well, you're mostly raising the kids. No, and just kicking them under the table. I mean, like she's doing that. Yes." <laughs> He goes, I don't do any of that. I don't fucking know their names and shit. I don't. That's all her. She's 
lot of heavy lifting. I mean, she doesn't l- literally lift stuff, but figuratively, a lot of heavy lifting. Well, anyways, <laughs> yeah. he's just like fucking. This guy is gonna be hearing about it though if they have someone over and someone uh, mentions anything like that. So, oh, have you ever started thinking about your uh, uh, now that the kids are older? Have you ever thought getting your career back together? She never stopped with her career. <laughs> Gets home, she goes. Did you read my new blog post? He goes, No, I was so busy at work. She goes, You didn't oh, support me. Oh, you don't want to support goes, me. Let me just pull it up, and they're just trashing him. He's got to read this shit. <laughs> it's good. It's a good article. And in future, I plan to do even less. <laughs> and <laughs> even less, huh? All right. Patreon.com slash the boys cast. Appreciate everyone who supported and all the new joiners. We have a new episode there. Every single week, we're going to talk Elon Musk robots. We're going to talk the Navy ship that sunk because the captain was a woman. That's been fact-checked as hey. false. <laughs> she was not a woman? It was false that that's the reason. Oh. Uh, yeah, the, some of the teachers have been out of control. There's a bunch going on out here. Beer artwork out of control. Ooh. Over at patreon.com slash the boys cast. Please join us for another episode every week. Come to our shows. And if you haven't watched my special, please check it out. Ryan, YouTube.com slash Ryan Long Comedy. Peace.